Tonight we begin a special series we're calling Sleepless in America, and here's an eye-opener. The CDC has called lack of sleep a public health epidemic, and most sleep experts say all our digital devices we're taking into the bedroom are taking a toll on getting a good night's rest. NBC's Hallie Jackson now on Kicking the Habit. At 10 p.m., bedtime's just beginning for Danny Fulton. Tonight, like every night, he turns to his tablet, then his okay. phone, okay. some TV, and the phone again. You watch 1 a.m. go, and then 2 a.m. go, and then 3 a.m. Scrolling and squirming. I reach for the phone. That can start with a simple work email or a Skype message, and it may end with YouTube videos or a Wikipedia page. You, you just never know. After just four hours of sleep, Danny's up again for good. Ended up dozing off about 3 a.m. He heads to work, functioning, but barely. I'm addicted to the device at some points. Why not put it in a drawer or in another room when you go to bed? I can't break free from it. Experts say it's no coincidence 95% of us look at some kind of screen within an hour of bedtime, and 85% have trouble falling asleep. With all the devices that we carry around, hold right next to our face and check our emails or watch movies or whatever, it is delaying what our brain interprets as sunset. The blue light from those screens send a signal it's still daylight, triggering a surge of energy and blocking the melatonin that makes us sleepy. No wonder, then, that with the device on nearly every nightstand, one in three people sleeps less than six hours a day, raising the risk for diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and depression. Danny knows the risks yeah. after a lifetime of Good struggling boy. to sleep. I know that long term is going to have it has the potential for grave consequences. It's shortening it's shortening my life. The solution seems obvious. Get more sleep. But how? Get the electronics out of the bedroom. The bedroom should be reserved for sleep and sex. That's about it. Doctors recommend shutting off all your screens an hour before bed. But if that feels impossible, at least use an app to flip the background so it's black with white letters. That'll have less of an effect on your system. And start good habits early. Meanwhile, blue. Like the Stevensons. 11 year old Raphael can only use his phone and play video games downstairs. We made this a complete electronic free zone. The bedroom is for books only. And it really helps me a lot. It works for kids and adults. So don't just dream of disconnecting. Better sleep for most of us is just a click away. Hallie Jackson, NBC News, Lexington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.